name is Randy Schaefer. I work with HH Barnum in the Applications Department, and today I will be demoing the Lumberg Line X IO Link Master Block and connecting that to a Banner Q4X IO Link sensor. Next to me is the Lumberg IO Link Master with eight IO Link ports that can be configured for IO Link communication or digital inputs and outputs. Below that you have three rotary switches for setting the IP address or you can leave it in the default state which are all on zeros that leaves the block in the DHCP mode and a DHCP server could be utilized for configuring the IP address. Below that we have the Ethernet connection points for communication. These are 4-pin decode and below that we have the power connection. Now I'm going to cover how to configure the IP address of the block using a DHCP server. To configure the Lumberg Lion X in a DHCP mode, not using the rotary switches on the front of the block to set the last octet of the IP address, I will use boot P. Select the port that I'm connected to the block with on my PC. Once the MAC address of the block appears in the list, I will set the IP address to 192.168.1.210. After setting the IP address and appearing down below, I will then open my web browser, type in the IP address set with the DHCP tool, and go to the Systems tab. In the Systems tab, under the IP address setting area, I can then set the IP address on the block and subnet to be on my controls network and switching it over to a static IP address. Once I hit submit, that will disable the DHCP mode and give it a valid IP address. As shown over here in the left hand column by the source switching from DHCP to manual. Now that we have configured the IP address on the Lumberg Line X block, we will now configure it within our Allen Bradley PLC. First I'll search for the PLC that we're using on our controls network, which is a 192.168.1.40. I'll go online with our PLC. After the IP address has been configured on the Lumberg Line X block, the next thing that we'll do is go to the web page for the IOLink master block and go to the download section, import, or download the EDS file, and switch over to our PLC logic and go to Tools, EDS Hardware Installation Wizard, and go through the process of importing the EDS file for the Line X master block. Once completed, we'll click on the Ethernet, add a new module, typing Belden in our search, selecting the correct device, and I'm going to name mine Lumberg XSL. 210 or the last octet of the IP address, set the IP address for the device, and hit OK. Now that the device has been added to our PLC Ethernet connection, we can now import our AOI for the Lumberg Line X Master by going to the add on instructions import new add-on instruction
and selecting our AOI that HHRM can provide to you for the block. After importing the AOI for the Lumberg Line X master block, we will then take that AOI and place it on an open run and create a tag for uh, the AOI. And then the input data is going to come from the EDS file. I'll put data from the EDS file. And then we will have to create tags, which I have already done, called port one, port two for the individual IO link data for each port connected on the block and IO link device. And then the last one will be our map data called master data. Each one of these tags, when you create it, I would or create it as a uh, controller scope tag versus a program scope tag. Once those are all completed, we can then download this to our PLC and go online and check operation. Now that we confirmed that everything is functioning properly with our IO-Link master block and AOI implemented into our PLC logic, we are now going to connect a banner Q4X and implement the necessary logic to get the data back from the IO-Link sensor through the IO-Link master into our Allen Bradley PLC over Ethernet IP. Now that we've connected the Banner Q4X IO-Link sensor to port 4 on the Lumberg Line X master block and the AOI for the Lumberg Line X master block has been implemented into our PLC logic, we will go to the internet, go to Banner's page for the Q4X IO-Link sensor, we will scroll down and under the downloads we will download the IODD file for the sensor as well as the AOI for the sensor. After those have been completed, we will return to the web browser for the master block, go under the necessary port that the sensor is connected to, so in this case we're on X4. Once on X4, I can click on Upload IODD and this will allow me to go search for the IODD file for the Banner Q4X. Once we have selected the correct IODD file for the sensor, I will click open and hit upload. After the IODD file has finished uploading into the master block, we will get it finished and we can close out of this page. And now this will allow me to see all the necessary data for the banner Q4X sensor from the web page of the Lumberg Line X master block. As you can see here, it gives me the output states on channel one and two, as well as my measurement value. And then I can go into the configure device 
which allows me to set the parameter data for the sensor. So depending on your configuration, you can adjust the necessary set points and parameter data as necessary to allow functionality within your application. Once all those necessary steps are completed, then we can implement the AOI in our Control Logics program on our Allen Bradley PLC. Next, we'll need to implement the AOI for the Banner Q4X sensor by going to the add-on instructions, right-clicking, import add-on instructions, and searching your PC for where you downloaded the AOI from the web page of BannerEngineering.com. Once that's completed, on our open rung, we'll click on our AOI and we'll drag in our banner AOI. We will need to give the AOI a name. So banner has PDF files that walk you through the configuration of this AOI. So I'm gonna follow their naming convention based on the PDF file associated with the AOI. The first tag that I created is banner Q4X, uh, IOLM 210 underscore one underscore PD underscore status. Next, I will have to take the first two synths of the input data on the IOLink port that is it's connected to on the master block. So in this case, we're on port four. I will scroll down to the PLC tag associated with port four on my master block, go to the input data, select my first SYN, and then select my second SYN, or drag down your first one and go to the second one in the array. And then I'm gonna have to put in a tag for my process data this one I'm going to call banner Q4X IOL 210.1.pd. And this does not require a byte swap, so I will enter a value of zero. Depending on the IOLink master that you're using, some may require a byte swap, which is also listed out in the PDF on uh, the AOI from banner. Once that's all completed, your tags have been uh, implemented into your PLC logic, then I can do a download to my PLC and check operations of the AOI. Now that we're online and running, all my process data is going to appear in my banner Q4X IOLM 210 underscore one underscore PD. So if I click on that, go to monitor, you will now see that when I expand this out, it will give me my output state for channel one and channel two, as well as my measurement value that it's being recorded by the sensor, as well as being displayed visually on the sensor. If I put my hand in front of it, you can now watch the data change based on where my hand is in relationship to the sensor. The other thing is on the face of the Lumberg Line X block, because of my output states from my sensor, you will also see that the white indicator light is on for channel two or pin two stating that an input is active. That completes the implementation, programming, and setup of the Lumberg Line X and the Banner Q4X IOLink sensor. If you need any further assistance, please contact HH Barnum or email applications at hhbarnum.com.